WXBT Delta Weather. It was a beautiful day across at Delta. The sunny skies made their way back in after some gloomy days to begin the work week. We did have a few of these white, puffy, big clouds try to scream in during the afternoon hours, but we still saw a large bit of blue skies out and above, and we're going to continue to see fairly clear skies as we go into the evening hours. We did have a few clouds try to push in this afternoon coming in from the north and northwest, and that mainly clipped some of our northern counties, but some of us, all of us, just about saw a little bit of those white puffy clouds, but the heaviest cloud cover, as you mentioned, was up into this north area. But that is beginning to thin out now as we push into the evening hours and will continue to dissipate as we go through the overnight hours. So I expect most of us to turn mostly clear, and with that, temperatures will be falling as we're now down into the upper, the mid 40s, as it's 47 in Greenville, 48 in Greenwood. Still see some 50s the farther south you get down in Jackson, Monroe, but everyone will be dropping into the 40s and then into the 30s as we go into tomorrow morning morning. Right now we still have some very breezy winds out of the north making it feel a little bit cooler. As you can see 12 miles an hour in Greenwood, 14 here in Greenville and that is dropping your feel like temperatures down into the lower 40s. So it is definitely got a little bit of a bite to the air as it feels more like 41 degrees right now in Greenville, 43 in Greenwood. And we could see these get into the upper 20s by tomorrow morning. But the good news is it does look like the winds will begin to die down as we over the next few hours and then into the overnight hours. Snow showers on the back side of this system continue to make their way through the northeast region, but they can see the storms that we saw yesterday in those regions have begun to push out over the east coast. And things are looking relatively quiet out to the west, so things will be coming down across most of the country as we go into our Friday and then into the weekend. But for us here in the Delta, what we're going to see is with a high pressure to our west, chilly air will be moving in for tonight. As we can see, there's temperature getting close to the freezing mark by tomorrow morning. Then as we go throughout much of the day, that high stays over in Texas and so so if it's still being to our west, we're going to get that northerly flow behind it. So it will be a rather cooler day again as temperatures will only barely get into the lower 50s. But the good news is lots of sunshine across the region. It's not a cloud to talk about and across the entire Mid-South. And that high pressure will continue to keep the clouds away for our Saturday. And by Saturday morning, it has now moved into the southern part of the state and heading out over the Gulf. So we'll start off with maybe a few clouds and temperatures again into the mid-30s. But then as that high continues to scoot off to the east as we go throughout the afternoon hours, we will be looking at some warmer air heading up into the Delta as we could be a good 10 to 11 degrees warmer by Saturday afternoon compared to what we've had today and what we'll see tomorrow afternoon. So that is some good news just in time for the weekend. But as I mentioned, we are looking at a very cold night across the region. So you might have to turn that heat up as you can see freezing mark along the river. And then as you head out to the east, lower 30s and could even get into the upper 20s near the Grenada area by tomorrow morning under the clear skies. Then with lots of sunshine, but with that northerly flow, we're still going to see the cooler temperatures as we only get into the low, the mid 50s. As you can see, 53 in Greenville, 52 in Indianola. 50 degrees up in Clarksdale. Seasonable temperatures for this time of year would be near 60 degrees. So you can see a good 5 to 7 degrees below average for this time. But then we do get back into the 60s as we head into Saturday and Sunday and even upper 60s at that by Sunday afternoon. But we will have the clouds begin to make their way in and it will be quite breezy and almost windy as we go throughout Sunday afternoon as we're looking at the next little system trying to push in across the region come Sunday night into Monday. Keep a few light chances of showers throughout Monday. Better chance for rain will come Tuesday evening and during the afternoon hours into Wednesday morning as we're looking at the next main cold front set up across the region. And that will drop temperatures a little bit after getting into the lower 70s to begin next week, dropping us back down into the low to mid 60s as we move into the middle of next week. But it does look like things will be drying out by next Thursday. All right.